If you ever ask an NFL head coach about a key to his success, I can almost guarantee he'll end up talking about his assistant coaches on staff. John Harbaugh is definitely someone who praises his assistants every chance he gets, and he's been able to bring some highly successful coaches with him here to Baltimore. Harbaugh has a long track record of hiring former NFL head coaches to work under him. Gary Kubiak and Jim Caldwell are two examples, and he did that again this offseason by bringing in Leslie Frazier to coach the secondary. You know, it's not always easy to hire former head coaches as assistants, and Frazier explained why Harbaugh has been so successful in doing that. Well, you have to give him a lot of credit because uh, it takes a guy without a big ego to do that, and uh, he's had a number of former head coaches to come through and, and even go on and, and, and be head coaches again and have success. Um, but it, it just goes back to him. Uh, he understands what those guys bring to the table, their experience, and, and it, it, he, he uses those coaches in those roles. Uh, you know, we've had some conversations about different strategic things, uh, whether it be the draft or you know, what we're doing with some players. And that's, that's a little bit unique as well, when the head coach uh, will lean on some, some other coaches who've been in a, in a similar situation. And it's paid off for him over the years. Uh, you have to take your, take your hat off to him for doing it. A lot of coaches uh, wouldn't stretch that way, but, uh, but he has, and it's been successful for him. Frazier's the seventh former head coach to work under Harbaugh, and he's the third currently on the staff. Pop quiz time. Who are the other two? Do you know them? It's offensive coordinator Mark Tressman and quarterbacks coach Marty Morningwig. That's your trivia for the day. Now, back to Frazier for a second. He has some really good things to say about how the secondary looked during minicamp, specifically veteran quarterback Gerard Powers. Ryan Mink wrote up a story about Powers and how he's fit in here in Baltimore and how he has a lot to prove during this one-year contract. I encourage you to give it a read. That's it for me on the final drive today. But as always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch all of you again tomorrow.